Hey everybody, this is Angie from TorAngie.com and today I'm driving towards Charlotte. So I'm in Indian Land on 521 and I'm just heading north. I haven't showed you all this little section of Indian Land. At this red light on my other video I took a left, but today I'm going straight up into Charlotte. Um, if this red light would ever turn green. All right, we're moving again. Uh, on the right is a up here is the like a European gas station. Well, it's, it's, Europe, it's a gas station, but it's a European market. It's got some um, neat food items that you don't typically see. And then there's the um, liquor store on the right. It's it's newer than the one that's up here on the left, closer to the water tank. There's all kinds of businesses over there on the left too. also the entrance to the other entrance to red ventures on the left up here uh, close to the water tank there's the a fireworks place and the other liquor store but there's also a really cool miniature golf so if you ever want to play miniature golf go there now we're coming up on Lidl it's a, a market doesn't remind you of all days it's pretty good it has it's a German um, I believe and then the Walmart with some businesses in front mm -hmm. I still need to try um, the mac and cheese place that's there I want to try it soon and now um, we're in North Carolina that's how close Indian Land is uh, we're actually in Charlotte city limits and we're heading towards the Ballantyne area Um, after this red light, there's a, well, it's another red light, but that's, um, Audrey Kill. It can, it's a back way to take you to Ray Road and Providence Road. Um, let's see, uh, up there, the intersection is, um, Big View Diner and a lot of other little restaurants and places, um, and a hair stater. Uh, nothing really special to say right there, just, you know, the diner's pretty good, and there, all the other restaurants right there are good, too. If you do end up going to the Big View Diner, um, they, I mean, it's a diner, but it's like an upscale diner. They have lots of menu items on the menu, you know, breakfast and all that stuff, too, but um, their lunch stuff is great, but their cakes, oh my gosh, I love their cannoli cake, so if you're ever there, get the cannoli cake. Some of the other shops located at that Audrey, the Audrey Kill shopping area, there with the big view, there's a Cordoba Mexican, there's an Italian restaurant, uh, Indian, an Indian restaurant, Italian ice, a pretzel place, and a little cafe. There's also like an urgent care, a dentist's office, um, T-Mobile, that's what's there. These red lights, they just last forever on this road. Sorry about that, y'all. All right, I'm um, coming up on some more shops up here on the right. Um, of course, there's all kinds of townhouses or apartment complexes, little subdivisions everywhere through here in the Ballantyne area. But the um, on the right, uh, there's um, a gym and a Wendy's. And on the left is IHOP and a Goodwill. And um, there's some other places. In fact, there's another little liquor store right there, too. If you had taken a left at that red light, it'll take you to Pineville, the back way. There is also something called Brazilian Eats and Treats. 
and I love this place. They have great desserts, authentic Bra Brazilian desserts and foods. And every day they have to have a signature item uh, on their menu, and it's different every day. So definitely check it out. Um, they're on Facebook if you want to go there and check it out. All right, and now we're coming up that on the left is a hotel. Well, actually, this is an apartment thing right here on the left, but just past it is the hotel. But this is the entrance to the new hospital, the new Novant Hospital. Um, I don't think this entrance is open yet. Let's let's just take a look. No, they still got a car parked sideways in the middle of it, but um, they are open you just have to come in from the other side. There's a, a mod pizza, a McAllister's Deli, and a um, Sprouts, like, I, I think it's like a grocery store market. I've never been to it. I need to check it out. But it's right here on the left um, beside the hotel. Up here on the left at this red light is the entrance to another little shopping area. Um, there's Publix, other, uh, some other stores. There's also City Barbecue. Um, it's pretty good. So since we're stuck in a little bit of traffic, let me tell you about some of the places up here that are on the right. Um, let's see, there's Zapatica, Zapatas, I, I don't even remember, oh gosh, I can't believe I can't even remember how it is, Zapatas, I think, Mexican. Um, there is a Junior's Deli, Bad Daddy Burgers, oh gosh, I can't even remember, um, Oh, there's a ramen place over there on the, in the, on the right. So, yeah, when you get up here, on up just a little ways, not at this red light, but on up into the Ballantyne area, there, uh, there's definitely a lot of restaurants to check out. Another place you could check out, um, it's Juniper Grill. It's over here on the right. But then on the left, um, up the road just a little bit, actually it's closer to, um, well, it's closer to the uh, exit to get to 485. But anyway, Walnut Grill, it's pretty good. There's a bunch of restaurants right in this area, especially over there in the uh, Ballantyne Village. There are tons of red lights on this road, so you always get stopped. So, you know, basically the equivalent of going, I think it's a total of six miles that I'm showing you today. It's it can, It'll take probably closer to 13 minutes or so. Um, and this is a good day. This is just a Saturday afternoon, you know, no real traffic not uh, a workday traffic, you know, that kind of stuff. And it's still unbearable at times. All right, finally, we're getting closer to the Ballantyne Village area. I said earlier, there's a bunch of restaurants on the right, and then there's a bunch of restaurants over on the left in the Ballantine Village, and then beside the Ballantine Village is more. Check out my other YouTube videos. I've done some on the Ballantine Village. All right, now we're heading into the Ballantine area for sure. Um, up here on the left, it's going to be the, 
the like the two-story shopping area and then all kinds of businesses there's banks uh, medical places uh, Duckworth's Sabres uh, it's a uh, ethnic food uh, it's like Mexican it's really good I've done a video on it and I've done a video on Duckworth's um, there's a pizza place over there and there's a, a new restaurant I can't and on the right, there's uh, more restaurants, more shops, and urgent care, more um, apartments. There's apartments on the left, too. But up up here on the left is also the Ballantine Hotel, which I'm going to show you. And um, the entrance to the new event uh, arena, I guess is what you'd call it, like pavilion where they're going to start having concerts. I think the first concert is going to be here in September. But I'm going to show you the entrance to that. And there's a uh, parking building. Uh, we're getting close to it now. Yeah, you can see the entrance right here. Um, that'll be a pretty cool place. There's going to be lots of little businesses down in there too. Alright, well this is the end of the video. I'm now at 485. So this is Angie from TorAngie.com. Hope you enjoy, enjoyed this little video. I know I'm not traveling much right now to give you some good videos to watch, but I'll get back to it shortly. All right, talk to y'all later.